All right, legends. This is the weapon we got. 20 bucks. Written in fucking Sharpie on the exhaust. A HRM 216 with a JCV 170. It's got a howl meter on it, but it's not connected. So I'll connect that back up and I'll see if it shows me how many hours, but they do have a battery in them and I don't think they're replaceable. Once the battery goes out, it doesn't show you. So yeah, it depends. But anyway, back to it, 20 bucks. It's missing the air filter cover. The wheels are pretty done for, but you kind of get that one if it's a pavement princess and just goes up and down the fucking footpaths and shit, it wears out pretty quick. But two, because it's the self right model, as soon as you start skidding the wheels, they start treading up. And if you use them on the concrete, even worse. So, anyway, I'll tell you the story. I went to a garage sale and seen this sitting there. And I said to Blake, how much you got on it? And he goes, it's written on it. I said, yeah, righto. Too easy. 20 bucks. Done, mate. Chucked it in the ute. Didn't really look at it too much. I asked him if it ran beforehand. And he said it ran before he... Put it in the shed, but he lent it to his son, and this is how he got it back. And he bought a new mower, so yeah. And I did have a look to buy this mower new in Bunnings, it's near on a thousand dollars, so it's not a bloody cheap mower. But yes, it's missing a few things a little rough around the edges, a couple of knobs of the height adjuster knob in there. Um, doesn't have a catcher, the mulch a bit itself, I think it's missing. Well, no, I'm not but yeah, so anyway, we'll see when we get started. Alright, so to start off with it, we'll check the oil out and see how that's going. It's a level, and it's actually relatively clean. So that's alright. Check the fuel out next. little bit stuck it still still smells like fuel but um as you can that little hump that's in there like where the fuel is now that's basically like a reserve like you would have on a, have on a motorbike so if i just put some fresh fuel in there i reckon that'd be right all right we'll check the slope all right so i figured i might as well um see if it'll start So, really, I might have to just pull the plug, make sure that's got some spark in it, and, yeah, I'm not sure. These Honda mowers are pretty re resilient. Not much really goes wrong with them, as you can see in the past videos I've got. I'll chuck them in the link below. But, um, yeah, really, the only thing that can go wrong with them is a bit of weak spark, which is rare or carby so bear with me um also i have noticed I'll give it a little quick oh, there is no deck or blades on it so i was wondering why it seems sort of easy to pull over um yeah that's why so if i do get it going i'm gonna have to get a deck and blade so if anyone's got one of them for uh hrn 216 Hit me up below, boys. Cheers. All right, so I just went down to check the spark, and the boot, the actual spark plug boot, is only just sitting on there. So that definitely would not help the uh, help the course, but we'll still pull the plug out and just check. It's not worth me cutting the corner and having to go back to it. So we'll check the spark, and we'll go from there. Definitely not the best-looking plug. It doesn't look like it's had... A whole lot of use but most of what you see there 
is like sort of oil residue. See? So, out of focus. How you wipe it goes on it. It's sort of like a, it's basically unburnt fuel. So essentially the carbon on the spark plug has had the fuel pour into it. And because obviously there's no spark, it didn't ignite. So now it just turned the black sludge. So to me, the reason why this wasn't running is because this fucker wasn't plugged in. So we'll check that in the boot, check the spark. And yeah, I'll give this a quick clean wipe out. Okay, and the easiest way I've found to clean just in the shed, if you don't have a spark plug cleaner, when well, you just put in a, just use a wire brush. And if it's really bad, Chuck a little bit of fired sandpaper between the the point, and don't even don't sand it. Like obviously, don't sand it like you would um, plaster or whatever. But just give it a real light touch on that little point down here. Get the chrome back on, and yeah, there's a bit of the opposite with a spark plug. Chrome will get you home. Black will black will get you sacks, mate. So just like so. So literally just take the tiniest little bit out of this bottom point in the top. Can't really focus. Yeah. Yeah, so quick little light scrubbing with the sandpaper just between these two points and just a little bit of chrome back on there. Get your contact going good. Alrighty, so plug the boot. Uh, sorry, plug the spark plug back in the boot and I'll give it a pull. Bit hard to do it with one hand. I helped Mitchy out with his motor the other day and I think I left my tripod in the car. I don't know. But, um, yeah, so sorry if the footage is a bit rickety. But um, anyway, yeah, I pulled it over and it has spark, so we'll screw the plug in. And I reckon this thing is just about fire now. I also wanted to point out, when I put fuel in it, that... um orangey shit that was in the tank is actually the bottom of the tank stain so it actually the fuel in it why it smelled clean was because it was actually clean fuel but the tank's got a brown stain to it so yeah that had me had me tripping out for a second <laughs> all righty so plug in i'll put this on the table and i'll give it a pull and see where we go all right plugs in uh, it's got auto choke, so I don't really need to choke it. I just had throttle open before when I tried it, but I didn't do anything else to cut the turtle away. No, let's see. Not bad for 20 bucks. I bought four worst things for 20 bucks, that's for sure. I sort of thought, you know, worst comes to it, I'll scrap the deck, keep the um, the throttle and all that for the 
I forget what it's called. The self-propelled and the engine alone. Sort of use that for parts if I needed it. But, yeah. Not bad at all. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. If you haven't noticed, I'm posting a video. Well, I'm trying to post a video every day. So, for the next month, you'll get a video every day. But you've got to like and subscribe to be you know, to be watching them. So, and it, and it gets me out here doing this shit. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Now I've got the hard choice of, do I keep this one or do I keep this one? I reckon I might go with this one, to be honest. Old girl, you can't beat it. Strong as a fucking ox. This thing on the other hand, cheap shitty deck. Well, don't get me wrong, Honda is a great brand, but, you go from when they had the, the big cast and the alloy decks to little shitty tin decks, basically. Well, it's not even, I don't even know what you'd call it, maybe a mil, two mil fucking sheet steel. It doesn't last. And when you start knocking it around, like when you start pulling it on and off the trailer, using it commercially, it, yeah, they don't last at all. As you can see, this one, it's got... It's obviously seen better days. Everything else in the whole mile is grey house, but the deck um, is shot. So, yeah. Again, cheers for watching.